Hi, welcome to PR Tech Talk. In this episode, we're going to look into the I2C interface and the EKRA2E1 board. We're going to interface it to a device called MCP9808 from Microchip, which is an I2C temperature interface. The EKRA2E1 has several connectors and the one we're going to use is the Groove 1 connector. The Groove 1 connector are interfaced to a board on the I2C bus. Here we see Seed's board for the I2C high accuracy temperature sensor, the MCP9808. The EKRA2E1 board has many interfaces. The Groove 1 connector up here is the one we are going to interface and it's connected to an I2C bus on the MCU. Here we have it defined on which connector and which pins are used for the Groove 1 connector. This information we need to have when we are creating the project in eSquare Studio. So P301 and P302 and it's on the sec second I2C ser uh, bus. So we start by creating a bare metal project in the eSquare Studio. We go with File, New, Renaissance CC Project, Renaissance RA, and Next. And we give it a project name. Here we need to define which board we are using, and we are using the EKRA2E1. We create a bare metal minimal. New stack, driver, connectivity, and the I2C bus. Here down on the left we have the properties, and if you don't have the window here, you might have your windows uh, changed. If you want to reset it, you go up to window, perspective, reset perspective and then you get all perspective as default. I would like to increase this a bit so. Here we have the parameter settings for the I2C bus. Uh, we see here which pins are used and that's not the correct ones so we need to change to the channel 2 then automatically the pins are correctly set to the P302 and the P301, which we saw in the documentations earlier. Uh, we can already here also define which slave address for the 9808 uh, module, and that is hex 18. That is all we need to do here. Uh, if we want, we can go for the API information here under the flag. Uh, and if we want to know more about uh, the driver itself, we have a small information button here. And if we click that one, the flexible software packet documentation opens up. And down here in this documentation, there is also a basic example that can be useful if you want to do your own experiment. We don't need to do any further changes or configurations to this one, so we generate the project. We can also go to changing the perspective to C, C++ perspective. And the source, we open that one. I have prepared a couple of files, uh, which you can download from my GitHub page. Uh, the link is in the description below. Now in the source folder, I have copied in all the files needed. It's the Sega RTT library, the common utils .h, and the whole entry, which we I which I have made some uh, changes to, and we are going to look into, and also the library files which I created on the MCP9808. So if we take a look on the whole entry file, besides the include files, we also have some variables which are defined here. So this is the hell entry file with, with the changes I've made. So we have an MCP 9808 in it and we have the get temperature and then we convert 
the floating temperature from this routine to a string which we can source out to the Sager RTT. So if we take a look on the MCP9808C file, so after we have initialized it, we have uh, got the temperature and then we need to convert the data. So we try to build a project. Okay, we built the project, zero errors, and we're going to take a look at the map file. So we open the map file and we're going to look for the underscore Segar. There we have the address we need for the Segar. So we compile it. In the Segar RTT viewer, we go file, connect, address, and we paste the address that we found in the map file. We launch the debugger and we see the temperature is presented. And if I hold my finger over the temperature sensor, it increases. This video is ended and it was a success. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you want to know when I release my next video, please also hit the bell icon. Hope to see you in the next video. Have a nice week. Bye.